All right, guys, we're here in FL Studio, and I'm gonna take you through the full process of how to install a plugin, get it loaded in FL Studio, and then get it added to the plugin database. So when you press uh, F8 here, you, it appears like this, and you can just drag and drop it into your projects. So let's get into that. What I've gone and done is I've downloaded the new plugin from Initial Audio, which is Sector. And before any of you give me the, oh, you crack your plugins thing, boom, there you go. You can see the license that I've got there on Plugin Boutique. So let's firstly extract that. So once we've extracted that and we're on Mac here, but it'd be very similar on Windows, we are going to double click to install. And we're just gonna follow through the guide here. Cool, so once it's installed, we can get rid of our file, we don't need that. And if we go back into FL Studio, what we need to do is we can go into Add. And if we choose more plugins up here, it's gonna bring up the plugin manager for us. Now the plugin manager detects everything that's installed on your system. But what we need to do is let FL know that there's been some new ones installed. So if we click on manage plugins, we need to know like what sort of plugin it was. We're just gonna leave all of them selected for this. It should only take me a second or two. And we are just gonna do start scan. And it's useful to leave verify plugins turned on as well. So we start the scan and we need to let that go through and when it's finished okay so once that's finished you should see the list of your plugins come back on and if we use find down the bottom here we can search for the installed plugin so if i put sek we get sector synth um i am going to use the au version doesn't matter it's got its okay approved status we're going to put a tick by that and that means it will now show up in our list but that's not the end of the story. We want to be able to add it into our browser as well. So we can now close away from this. If we go back to add again now, and we see more plugins, we can see that sector is now added in up the top here. Awesome. So we're going to click on that and it's going to load the plugin for us. Now it's popped up in demo mode because this is the first time it's been installed and opened. So we are going to activate in this case. So I've now got my serial number. I'll put my serial number in there and we hit activate. And we've now got that loaded. Happy days. Now, if we wanted to make that so it appears in our plugin browser, what we do is click up here and we're gonna do add to plugin database flag as favorite. This is gonna give us a warning when it pops up and it's gonna tell us the category it wants to add it to. We don't want to add it to Mizic, miscellaneous. What we want to do is we want to add it to synth here. So if we select synth over here on the right hand side and we repeat that same process, it's now going to add sector synth to the synth category. We press okay. And what that did, it just took a screenshot of it and it's now saved it in there. So now whenever we press F8, we can bring that up. So let's bring up the channels and let's hit F8. And it's not instantly identifiable in there, but if we go SEK, it will filter it out for us like this. And as you can see, it's here. And we can drag and drop. And there you go. That is it. So that's the whole process of installing a new synth, getting it activated, adding it so it's selectable inside FL Studio and then adding it to the plugin database so that you can select it here from the browser as well. Hope the video was useful for you guys and I will see you on the next one.